Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So here we in, in this lesson we are going to practice our integers. So if you would like you can pause the video, try it yourself, it's a really good way to learn. If not you can sit back and just do the questions with me. So let's start with number one. So if you look at this number one carefully you can see that everything is times together. So you can do all of it in one go. So it's going to be 4 times 3 which is 12 times 2 which would give you 24. You then look at the number of negatives, there's 1 and 2. So 2 negatives is a positive, so this one is positive 24. If we look at number 2, we can also see that everything is simply multiplied together because we've got minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 2. So minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is 9 and then 9 times 2 is 18. You have 1 two, three negatives, and so the answer is negative 18. Here we've got a combination of plusing and minusing and multiplication, so we go find the multiplication first. There it is. It's only over there, actually. And so we write everything else out. So that's 4 plus, and then 2 times 3 is obviously just 6, minus 3, minus 4. Now here we have a minus and a minus next to each other, and we know that two minuses is actually just a plus. And so here we have only plus and minus, so we must move from left to right. So if you have 4 plus 6, that's 10. Then 10 minus 3, that is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then 3 plus 1 is 4. This one we can see that all the numbers are multiplied together. See, we've got a 2, then it's times 3 times minus 2 times minus 4. So we can simply multiply everything together. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12, times 4 is 48. We then count all the negatives, 1, 2. 2 negatives makes a positive, and so the answer is 48. Here's number 5. So there's only times in divide. So when you only have times in divide, so in bodmas, although divide technically comes before m in the word, they are actually the same. It's just they had to come up with a word that sounds decent. So some people even say bomb das like that. So M and D are actually the same. So then which one do we do first? You move from left to right. Just like with those types of sums when you only have add and subtract, then whenever you have add and subtract only, you move from left to right. And so 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times divided by 2 is 6. Then we just count the negatives. 1, 2, 3. That's an odd number of negatives. Odd meaning your answer is negative. Here's another one. So we see that there's a times and a plus. So times always comes first. So 2 times 4 is 8. But there's one negative. So that's minus 8. Now minus 8 means that you owe someone 8 rand. Then someone comes along and gives you 3 rand. Oh, well at least you can pay some of your debt. And so you would still be left with minus 5 rand. Because think about this. Minus 8 means that you owe 8 rand. Imagine here you owe 8 rand, then someone gives you 3 rand. So you could use that 3 rand to pay people back and then you'd still owe another 5 rand and that's why the answer is minus 5. Moving on to number 7. So technically with bom bod mass we can start with the bracket and inside the bracket there's times and divide. So when there's times and divide, remember, you go from left to right. So I'm just going to leave everything else as it is. Now inside here you've got 3 times 4, which is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. If we count the negatives inside there, there's 1, and so that's negative 6. Now if we look across, we see, oh, there's a times there, and there's a times over there. So this block over here on the left is 3 times 6, which is 18, and then there's two negatives. Two negatives, that's an even number, and so that's positive. Then I'm going to say plus. Then inside the block it's 7 times 3, which is 21, but there's a negative, so that's minus 21, so I'll put minus 21. We've then got a plus and a minus next to each other, so that becomes a minus. Now if you have 18 rand, and then all of a sudden you owe people 21 rand, well, then you're going to be 3 rand in debt, and so your answer would be negative 3. And the last one, so if we look at this, we can see that these three here are all times together, so we'll do that first. And so that's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 
then there is a negative and a negative two negatives make a positive so that will be 12 so everything else I'm going to write it as it is then we can remove this these negatives over here so if you have a negative and a negative that's the same as a positive now we only have plus and minus so we move from left to right so if you owe people five rand and then someone gives you 12 rand well then all of a sudden you have seven rand seven minus four is three and three plus two is five and that's it for this lesson thank you for watching